Greetings, meticulous, neat, impeccable Virgo. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and a tarot card reader. And now I'm going to do the June 2020 overview for the sign of Virgo. I'm going to do a tarot reading, and then I'm going to look at the planetary transits for the month of June. So definitely stick around for the second half of the video because there are lots of interesting transits happening in June, including two eclipses and Mercury retrograde. But first, I'm gonna lay out the cards and tell you what they have to say. Try and watch the videos for your sun, moon, and rising to get the fullest scope. You can also just listen to the videos while you're doing other things around the house, cleaning and stuff. But let's see. So as we enter the month of June, Virgo, we see that, um, I don't know, this looks like financial concerns possibly, or somebody is feeling like they're not getting their fair share in a contract or negotiation or financial situation. Um, maybe someone needs help. Um, you were covered by the Five of Swords. So this looks like, uh, I don't know, are you withholding communication from somebody? Are there uh, dynamics being played out um, with communication and power um, over others? You were crossed by the Seven of Cups. This is really reviewing, looking to the future for all the possible options and paths. There are many paths you can take. It looks like you are, you know, exploring them, deciding upon them, looking towards them, making your choices. The basis is the Nine of Cups reversed. So this is delays and wishes at this time, Virgo. I love when this card is there though because it means your wish is on the table. It may not be happening in the speed or on the timeline that you want it, but it's happening, Virgo. What's leaving is the two of rods. So this could be the ending of a partnership. What could come into being is the six of cups. This is a visit from an old friend, reconnecting with an old friend. Um, Sometimes this is an affectionate exchange with your lover. Maybe someone is bringing you flowers. Maybe you're bringing someone else flowers. What will come into being, the Page of Cups. Um, this is um, a child, a sweet and young, beautiful child. Um, for those who don't have children in your life, um, it could mean um, uh, that you are falling in love. It could mean the birth of a new creative project or idea. And, um, and if you are a young person, like someone in your teens or early 20s watching this video, then this could be you falling in love or feeling creative around, I don't know, the 16th to the 18th of June, let's say. Fears or insecurities. This is around a trip or journey. So maybe you're worried about a trip or journey you have to miss. Maybe you're worried about a trip or journey you're going to, um, you know, boldly take. <laughs> maybe you are worried if you have fears or insecurities around canceling or something around travel. Other see you. The Nine of Swords reverse. So other see you is becoming liberated, becoming free coming out of constraints, uh, turning around your old ideas about something, releasing anxiety, positive feelings. It looks like you're gonna get some good news around the end of the month, around the 25th through the 27th. You will get good news via text, letter, phone call, direct message. Looks like you're feeling very happy about that at the end of the month. And the outcome is the king of rods. This is a man taking action at the end of the month. And um, that is it for the tarot overview for Virgo for the month of June 2020. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the planets and the asteroids. Um, I haven't been talking about the asteroids so much in these readings, but I'm going to start introducing them because I'm working 
with them a lot with my clients and my private practice and I think that people are really getting a lot from it and so I want to bring it to the to the forefront here and if you don't know what the asteroids are just listen and if you're interested in learning more about it contact me for your own reading and I can tell you where all of your asteroids are in your chart and what that means the asteroids are particularly important for looking at relationships and love and things like that but that's not it you know very interesting stuff and I love talking about it so June 2nd the asteroid palace Athene enters Capricorn retrograde and you know um, this for uh, Virgo in general will be happening in the sixth uh, going from the sixth house to the fifth house so it'll be entering your house of children um, it's also the house of service it's also the house of health and fitness so it can hit any of those themes for Virgo and it's also the house that is your home um, Virgo's natural home and so um, I think that uh, Virgo is going to be re-strategizing in one or all of those areas of your life uh, rethinking um, you know it's about long-term strategy and this could be around children this could be around service this could be around health and fitness um, and June 3rd Vesta enters cancer and that is going to be happening in the 11th house of friends and business associates for Virgo um, and so it looks like there's going to be and this house is not just the house of friends and business associates that's two of the 11th house meetings but it's also organizations and groups and so I think that Virgo is going to want to be devoting themselves to that area of their life to keep their own inner light on your own inner spiritual inner light will be fed by that area and June 5th um, the full moon prenumbral lunar eclipse is happening in Sagittarius and for Virgo in general that will be taking place in the house of home uh, it's also the house of the past the house of the mother the house of the ancestors the house of the inner sanctuary um, and lunar eclipses can bring up the shadow in ourselves or others they illuminate uh, and so that can be shocking when it happens sometimes lunar eclipses are often a time of endings of culminations of letting go of releasing so all of that could be coming up for Virgo in the fourth house during that June 18th Mercury goes retrograde in Cancer um, Mercury is the planet of communication Cancer is a very emotional watery sign Mercury retrograde in Cancer can bring up emotional communication sensitivity and communication issues um, and that will be again in the 11th house for Virgo the 11th house is a very prominent house for Virgo in June and that's about again friends business associates groups organizations community um, and um, let's see June 20th the Sun enters cancer so it's cancer season um, wish your cancer friends and loved ones a happy birthday again during that season there will be illumination in the areas of friends business associates groups organizations community um, also the new moon is happening in cancer uh, on June 21st new moons are a great time to set your intentions for what you want to manifest in your life the new moon of cancer is great to manifest cancerian themes this is around the home this is around the mother this is around the feminine principle it's around moods and emotion it's around the past around the ancestors around the inner sanctuary if you're interested in being a my new moon altar and having me help manifest in these areas for you contact me but you can also create your own altar at home and um, June 23rd Neptune goes retrograde in Pisces um, Neptune in Pisces is very subtle energy you'll feel it if it hits any of your personal planets 
Um, and uh, so again, that would be a one-on-one -on -one kind of reading thing to learn more about. But in general, Neptune is about the energy of idealism and vision and spirituality. Um, and on the shadow side, it can be about escapism and addiction and illusion and fantasy. So um, June 25th, Venus goes direct um, in um, Gemini. So this will be clearing up communication with friends, clearing up communications with your spouse or lover, things like that. Once that energy goes direct, um, it will be the removal of creative block for writers and artists when that goes direct. Um, and uh, yeah, that's happening June 25th, but keep in mind that the shadow period will last until the end of July, so don't feel frustrated if things aren't clearing up for you right away in those areas. June 27th, Mars enters Aries. Mars is at home in Aries. Collectively, we will be very driven towards our goals, towards pursuing our goals. Um, for Virgo, um, this will be entering your eighth house. This is the house of sex, death, rebirth, regeneration, and transformation. So there's going to be a lot of powerful energy surging in that area of your life. Um, you know, throughout the end of the year, because Mars is going to be in Aries, it'll be going retrograde. A lot of really interesting stuff happening with that Mars and Aries that I think we will be feeling very powerfully as a collective and also in our individual lives, depending on where it travels through the chart. So I definitely encourage everyone to be having regular readings right now, you know. Um, and um, June 30th, the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction is happening again for the second time this year very powerful conjunction. The first time we saw it hit exact this year was April 4th. So I think that you can look at April 4th and see what was going on collectively to know what to expect more of on June 30th. Um, there was a big surge in the virus going on at that time. Uh, people were out being asked to stay home and to stay safe. Um, I think that we should be mindful of the possibility of that surging again on June 30th. I also, um, you know, the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction is not all bad, just like anything in astrology. There's never absolutes of all bad or all good. There's always the highest expression of the energy and the lowest expression of the energy. There's a scale. And, um, you know, for rich and powerful people, there's an opportunity to expand wealth and power while these uh, conjunctions are exact. And um, also in your personal chart, whichever house it's in, um, there's the potential of a powerful influence coming into that area of your life. It can be from a person or an event that creates expansion in that area for you. Uh, for Virgo in general, that Pluto-Jupiter conjunction is happening in the fifth house. That's the house of children, it's the house of creativity, the house of fun, the house of games, the house of romance. Um, so there could be some powerful expansion in that area of your life. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the broad overview. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a don't like. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at astrology.tarot.elianenicole. I'm doing daily updates in my stories there of all of the day-by-day -day astrological aspects that are happening. They're really fun. Um, and informative and um, also contact me directly for a reading. I always want to say that because I love doing it so much and this is a really great time for it with everything that's going on in the world and I can do it on FaceTime or the phone and um, thank you for joining me for the June 2020. Have a wonderful June Virgo.